Um, again, if you have a launcher, all you do is swipe up. We'll bring the launcher up. And really what we were announcing this week is we, we've worked with a lot of partners. We announced at CES and we wanted to show off their application. So again, you just swipe to bring the, um, bring the application up. If I click on Classic, and this is really what we announced yesterday. This is a company called Motion Apps. Um, we've worked with them. They actually brought Palm OS to actually run on, on WebOS. Um, what this is, is acts like every other WebOS app, application, so it drops into the card view, you click on it to expand it, um, it brings some basic functionality in, so a lot of the, the standard, you clock, world clock, uh, calculator, calendar. Um, the goal of this and what we, were tr we wanted to have and we're very interested, there's 30,000 some odd apps out there that use Palm OS. Um, to bring an app on here, all you do is you go, you plug this in as a USB drive, meaning you just plug a USB cable into it, open the file explorer, you drag your files over from your from your Palm device, drop them into the classic apps directory, and they expo they just show up on the device. Um, we've worked with some enterprise apps, so we've got applications called Hippocrates. This is a medical application. All we did to get it on here is we took the setup.prc file that you would just download off the web. Mm -hmm. Put it, on to, put it onto um, WebOS and then launched it. It downloaded the entire application. It gets wireless updates from it and keeps you up to date and everything on here. Um, we have a full five-way control on it, so I can actually go through navigating through on the five-way. Um, it allows me to go through basically anything you would do on a Palm OS app. Uh, you have the ability going back to launcher. Um, again, the five-way going through different applications. If I want to have the keyboard working, we have the keyboards fully mapped onto it. So if I go up to menus and I say I want information without having to go anywhere, I can hit the I, which is the shortcut. Mm -hmm. It'll launch the information about the device. Um, you've got your categories that'll go through it. Um, again, your internal memory. So this is actually what's in the Classic Apps folder that mm -hmm. I've dragged over. Really trying to make it so, yes, you can bring all your apps over. and But yes, it's in WebOS. You have everything that we brought with it. So it's other apps they have. We have NASCAR, um, again, with a NASCAR application. This allows you to choose your favorite NASCAR driver and follow him along on race day. So you get information on where he is in the standings, so you know your driver and, and where he is on game days, or race days, I guess. Mm -hmm. You actually get stats from where the races are, updates from pit crews, um, and the goal of it really is to give you that next step of information as you're watching a race, whether you're at the race or whether you're on t at TV. Um, again, if you want to have videos, we actually have RTSP feeds that will go into it, okay. really giving you a, a lot of stuff on here that you want to know about your race drivers. Mm -hmm. Um, we've also worked with guys, let's go over to here, guys like Fandango. Fandango allows you to buy movie tickets online. Um, they've done a lot of interesting things with the SDK. Um, so one, they hooked into LBS, mm -hmm. so we know we're in Vegas. And we go down to pick a movie that actually is playing. Fast and Furious is a great one to demo, mm -hmm. but I don't have any movies because it doesn't come out until tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, but say Monsters and Aliens, it'll go through, say, okay, I can go to the Orleans, I can go over to um, the Brendan and watch an IMAX. If I want to buy it, just like they normally do, you can buy it either using your account or using a credit card. The piece that they've added in is if you do buy the movie, and I'm not going to buy one now because I'm not going to go, <laughs> um, it'll actually put it into your calendar as an event. Oh, so you can have cool. reminders on it. You actually, it goes into your calendar. You, could, you know you have a movie you're going to. So if you're buying tickets for Friday, you can go to the Friday show. Very cool. Um, you also have the ability to go through that I have any ratings that I have about it. It'll pull the ratings up. If I have a trailer that I want to go watch, and I'll just swipe back to it, I can actually go watch the trailer. Mm -hmm. um, really trying to make it integrated into the overall system. Uh, let's see. Other applications, I guess we've shown off. Oh, Flight View. Uh, Flight View is actually, it's a, it's a great app. If, so you don't use it all the time, but if I'm going to the airport, I want to know where my flights are going to be. You want to know so how delayed it is. How delayed it is. They actually both allow you to pull the live feeds from the, the information, and also, if it's delayed, give you a notification that it's delayed. Very cool. So I'm going to go from Las Vegas. So I'll just type LAS for Las Vegas. I'm going to go to San Jose. That's where I'm heading tomorrow. And I'm going to take Southwest, and I'm going to find flights. Actually, I'm finding today's flights on it right now. So what it'll go out, it'll go out to the web. It'll give you information. We know that one of them is not taking off right now, and it's in red, and we've got one of them canceled. Um, <laughs> but we've got this guy in the air, and that's sort of one of the interesting things. They'll go out and actually pull the data down with the maps and let you map where the flight is in progress. Okay. So you actually can see where it is, you see where it came from, you've got information around it. If I want to add this, I can add, add it to a tracked flight and, man, and so I can come back to it later. Mm -hmm. um, really giving you something that as you need it, it's a great app to go through. Going through it, so you have the, the full keyboard on it. 
and you have, I guess we go through the different applications as you're going through. So you have a keyboard. Again, on the back, we've got our camera and LED flash. Uh, we also have the speaker phone. I think some of the stuff we've put into it, just on top, we actually have a three and a half millimeter jack on it to allow you to go through and actually put any spit headphone you want into it. You don't have to have a custom one for the device. 